Hi all, welcome to Fancy Keyland. Now we are going to see uh, what is the data center over here. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So I hope everyone remember like uh, yesterday we have seen uh, some of the plottings. Okay, so here ragged array can be created. I'm not sure what is ragged array. First time I'm hearing. Not aware of that particular ragged one. Yeah, array with array. That is the thing we have created now. Inside the array only we have created one sort of array. Okay, array with array is called jagged array. So first time I'm hearing this. So the same thing only here we have created. Array with an array. The first set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is an array. The second set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is an another array. So within that uh, outer side, we can see the other two bounding boxes or that uh, square brackets. So that is known as the jagged array, which you are saying. Okay. So now the task is you can enter n number of values. That number of values should be converted into an array and that should be plotted into a graph. So you so are trying it in 3D array. It will be very good. Like 3D array, 3D plotting. You have to enter the different data and that data should be converted into an array and after converting those data should be plotted in a graph. If it is 3D graph, well and good. Can we? Can we try that? Hello. Now the time is 5. So within 5.2 it is within 5.15. That is itself uh, it is higher amount of time I hope. Try to get it within 5.15. Is anybody trying this? The task. Once again, I am repeating. Enter any number of arrays, and that particular array should be visualized. If it is displayed using 3D array in uh, three dimension, means it is well and good. Hello. Is anybody trying? So next, uh, we can try with uh, array slicing. So array slicing, it is same like string slicing only. Within this, if I am putting the data of so 4 to 8, it will be like this. Sorry, it is inside the bracket. So this is known as slicing of array. Okay, so after this, everything it is taken in the form of only the brackets. Because here we have only two dimensions. And at the same time, if uh, we are separating this, so here we'll be having another difference. Okay, so in between I have missed one bracket. So now if I am providing this, so you can see how that particular uh, things are being reduced and if I am slicing from 2 to 2 to 6 means only this many data will be present 2 to 4 only these two data will be there 3 and 4 okay so this is known as array slicing so next we are going to find the type of uh, data that is stored inside the array so how to find that means just only provide the keyword D type. D type is known as data type. Now, whatever we have written, it is in in 64. Okay, so now I will just uh, cut short it. So, everything is in the form of integer and therefore it is taken as int 64. The same thing if I am giving anything within the quotes means and tech e learning. So, it is taken out as u10. Nothing but unsigned string over here. So, that is only here it is taken as u10 like uh, in 32, 8 bit, 16 bit. And here we can also uh, define this as string means. So we have to provide a comma type D type equal to size. So based on the size here, we will be able to convert it. So the size of 10, it has been converted also as a string print a. Okay. So whatever you are seeing, it is in the form of string only. Now, if I am removing this, let us see. So it is providing it as an unsigned arrays or unsigned data of 10 bits. If you want to take it as string, so once again I am showing provide D type as S. So like that, there are many uh, data types F, I. So each and everything is related to integer, float, string, like that only. Whenever you are taking an array data in the form of string, definitely the junk characters or uh, the encoding characters like B will be present over there. This is most commonly occurred even for serial communication also. Whenever you are connecting your system with the serial communication, that time also you will be facing this problem. So 
So there we have to apply the string slicing. From there we have to collect the data or remove that particular B. And yeah, that's what it is an uh, encoding channel. The data gets encoded because we are converting from uh, one form of data type, which is an unsigned value to a signed value because string is a designed a desired one, desired kind of uh, data type. Only for uh, string you will be able receiving this B. For other data types, you won't receive anything. So with the help of that input function, now you have to try by entering the string into array. Into a set of array, you have to enter the string. So small task, which takes only for five minutes. So is anyone trying that? Whatever the input you are going to type, it should be taken as string from the array. So five minutes only. I think uh, now it is 5.23. Within 5.28, you have to complete it. Try to do the task so that it will be like a hands-on practice. Okay, Darshini, you can just uh, share your screen. Very good. So even though if she has entered the elements in the form of number, it has been converted into string. Okay, next we are going to uh, create two different sets of array. And uh, that array uh, here we are going to combine into a single array. Like, yeah, so I will take another one. So uh, here I'm going to provide AR1 equal to np dot array one comma two comma three AR2 equal to np dot array within bracket two comma three comma four. So here I have entered two data. Now I am providing another one variable as q equal to np dot concatenate. So within bracket AR1 comma AR2 print AR1 print AR2 print Q. Oh, I have made some mistakes over there. Let me check. I hope uh, in the dimensions only there are some mistake. Yeah. So here for array, I did not provide any brackets. So in syntax for arguments also, we have to provide that. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Sridhar, sir. So like this only it gets combined over here. So this is known as uh, joining of arrays. And similarly, here itself we can uh, create uh, some more 2 comma 5 comma 6. Here also 4 comma 5 comma 6. Here we have to provide the axis as 1 since we are providing multiple dimensions. Okay. So in this way only we will be combining two or more arrays into single array. Okay. So any doubts on this? And tomorrow we will be starting with pandas. So pandas is one of the important functions. So pandas is nothing but uh, it is completely used to read a file. You read a complete data from the file and to split that complete data which is present inside the file. So that particular only tomorrow we will be applying. Okay. So now we can go for uh, another function resizing or not resizing reshape. So a single array, whatever we have, that should be reshaped. So that particular uh, thing only now we are going to do. Let us try here itself. W equal to Q dot reshape. So within bracket, 2 comma, sorry, 3, 3 comma 3. And print W. Because uh, this reshaping, we will be taking it uh, 4 comma 3. Yeah. This reshaping, it is mostly taken in uh, machine learning in order to construct in a well manner. Okay, so now uh, here we can see, since we have 12 datas or 12 arrays over there, it won't be able to combine into 3 cross 3, because 3 cross 3, it is known as 9 arrays. Uh, here, if we provide only 4 cross 3, uh, which is able to get in the form of 12 or 2 cross 6, so like that kinds of sections only here, we will be able to print it. Okay, so whatever the data we are taking, it should be taken in this particular matrix, which is in three rows, sorry, three columns. Uh, mostly for machine learning and deep learning, we'll be taking in this manner only. So for that purpose only, here we'll be using this reshape. This is known as array reshaping. So you guys can try this now itself. And after that, uh, we can move to the other function, which is named as sorting. So after trying this, just bring to the chat. So kindly try this first. Has everyone tried this? Okay, so I hope uh, everyone is able to understand. 
now here itself uh, i am going to sort sort it np dot sort so which value i am going to sort means going to take this w the final value so now you can see everything is uh, sorted over there so i am going to give print w oh, since already we have provided in a ascending and descending uh, sorry in ascending it is directly sorted so this is the normal data 153234 now i am going to sort it yeah so it has been sorted into 135 234 256 and 456 so since it is in the correct order uh, the previous data we were able to get the same answer correctly okay so now we can move for another operation like known as filter so how to filter the element from an array just a moment so here we will be taking this numpy and from this particular numpy we are creating the array section so and uh, the variable uh, for filtering also we have created so element is nothing but uh, whatever the data inside this array if that particular element is uh, greater than 2 then that particular filter should be appended over there else uh, it should be printing as normal if the data is there it should be printed else not so that particular filtered array is stored in the form of filter underscore arr and finally we are calling it in the form of array so this is that particular new array value and finally we will be printing it so here i am having that particular numbers here it has given greater than 42 so what is the filtering we have for this four numbers so these two are false these two are true finally 43 and 44 are the filtered data over there this filtering will be applied in huge size of uh, data science okay so i hope today we have 